Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of MQTT Monday. We will be talking about the foundational changes that the MQTT 5 protocol version introduced. It is important to note that MQTT is still MQTT, and even some of the new features were already introduced in brokers like HiveMQ with the old MQTT version. One of the most breaking new changes are user properties that are key value pairs that can be added to almost all MQTT packets. Also, MQTT 5 introduces a host of new reason codes. The total amount of reason codes moved from 19 to 128. Another big change is that the broker can now let the client know in the connect packet about which of these optional features are supported. Please note that some of these features are already known from MQTT3 and are very popular. Session handling has also changed with the MQTT5 protocol version. While MQTT3 had clean session flags, MQTT5 now has clean start flags. We will talk about this in detail later. With the new auth packet that got introduced to the protocol, enhanced authentication mechanisms like challenge response can now be implemented. To accommodate the user properties key value pairs, the data type of UTF-8 string pairs got introduced, making the total amount of supported data types now seven. You can see the complete list here. With the introduction of server disconnect packets, a broker can now let the client know about the reason why it gets disconnected instead of simply closing the connection. Possible reasons for disconnections include exceeded quotas or protocol errors. With the MQTT5 specification, it is no longer allowed for brokers to retransmit unacknowledged publishes. A small but nifty change is that clients can now use passwords without username for authentication in the connect packet. In conclusion, we can note that MQTT5 is still MQTT. While introducing many useful new features, it stays to the core principles of the IoT protocol. Follow this channel and watch the series to learn more about the new features in detail. Thank you.